for a hair gel today? Safety first. All right, that was cheesy. Dude, they're extendable. Oh yeah, that's so comfortable now. Oh my gosh. Two bucks. Oh, performance issues. He's going a really unique color. Is this zoomed in on my face? I'm sore, but I'll do it. <laughs> this one uh, was the Nova Burst Pearl that we did on the Mustang, I don't know, four, five, six months ago, maybe. I don't feel like, I don't even know, but he got into an accident. Um, and the, uh, was it this side? Yeah, I think it was this side, he got re-sprayed. And uh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 it was this side, that's right, because there was so much orange peel from them. Y'all probably can't even, yeah, it doesn't show up, whatever. Um, yeah, in person, it's peely, it doesn't really match, but this should be dry enough. So he let it sit for 90 days after getting painted. It should be good. Yeah, I'm not gonna go crazy wet whenever spraying that. He's going a really unique color, one that I am excited to see. I do remember posting a video of it and uh, he loved the color. So I'll finish cleaning up some of the edges, you know, just pressure wash some of the stuff that he peeled off the Nova Burst. Um, yeah, he did it himself. So he said it didn't take too long and just, sat outside and peeled the panels and that was pretty much it so i told him i'll clean up all the edges just some some pressure wash nothing crazy i do get asked a couple times hey can i spray a car spray the spherical clear coat over it and then spray another coating over that we're going to do that on this one uh, in theory yes you can of course it's going to be you know an added extra layer and you always want to make sure that your uh your base of whatever you're spraying over is smooth right so if not, you're just gonna amplify whatever's underneath it. Just like painting, just like painting a car. Uh, we're gonna do the trunk area as well. So we're gonna sand this smooth. Uh, that way there's no impurities. Oh, and also uh, this run, I forgot about this run. Uh, right when he pointed it out, he was like, oh, do you mind also fixing this? As soon as I saw it, I remember it. It was like a flashback. I just stood there. I was finally done with the car and I do my final spray over and then it was one drip. Oh, but that's all right. I wanna buff it out instead of just peeling it. Yeah, we gotta clean up some of the, a little bit more of the edges of what we had before. And uh, then we'll be good to spray the base, the pearl, and then the clear coat. On our last project, we sprayed the Ford Raptor. We used the AHS system where, you know, you use the, the airless spray system. Bigger project, bigger surface, it sprays faster. I don't need that for this. I don't need to spray the base in one hour and then, you know, move on to the next project. I'm gonna go at a little bit of a slower pace. I don't wanna say it provides better results, but it's definitely at a slower pace, the less chance of an error. Your margin of error is much smaller if you just go with the standard compressor route. So uh, I'll be doing that with this one. We're gonna use our, our, our just our basic, what, oh, this is the Black Widow gun. Uh, of course, you know, we got our gun lights, little plug there, but uh, it helps, it genuinely does. I know I just briefly mentioned the gun lights, but they do, they do help and they don't add that much weight. So they're pretty universal. Pick one up today. We'll be using our Black Widow gun for the base coat, and then we'll be using our Awada 4 for the clear coat. So we'll be, we'll be sure to get a couple clips of those, but I wanna dive deep, a, a little bit slower pace video than what we normally do, just to kind of express and explain some of the process and what's going on, so. done for the night uh i get distracted man uh, i wanted to be further along but i wanted this thing black already <laughs> i'm 
I'm not even done masking. I still got the, on the other side and the mirrors in the front, the back. Oh, it's been tough. And the recording, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I just, I wanted to be further along and unfortunately I'm not. But tomorrow I'll be here bright and early. I'm gonna be here at like 5.30. Here at the door, spraying, speaking it. All right, I'm done. All right, so I noticed that we haven't really gone into like an in-depth how to spray spherical. And that's, that's a tricky thing to actually do because I feel like every single project there's always a learning lesson. So the thought process is let's just record every project and put anything that is learned throughout. However, I do want to take a little bit of a slower step on this one and show gun speed, show how your fan pattern, your width, just a little bit more information as it goes to spraying your first few coats and then moving on to color. I'm not saying this is how to spray rail spherical clear coat. It's just how I'm spraying rail spherical clear coat. It's painting, like there's, there's not everyone is gonna paint the same. All right, you get it, whatever. Little disclaimer though, safety, safety, safety. This paint is going to smell like bubble gum. It's, that's, Rail's actually been doing it for a little bit now, um, adding a little bit of a bubble gum scent to it. That still doesn't mean that you don't have to wear a mask. Always wear a respirator, always, always, always. And of course, always wear glasses, just take the right steps. I'm always learning on that perspective as well. It took someone on Reddit to call me an idiot for not wearing a paint suit, and now I wear a paint suit, and now I wear, you know, at least long sleeves and stuff like that. All right, you get it. All right, let's move to the test panel. I'll show you guys a little bit of a slower pace as to what I mean. Let's go. When it comes to PSI rating uh, to your gun, you wanna be around 25, 26. I wouldn't go any higher than that and I wouldn't go any lower than like 22. So between 22 to 26, somewhere in that range for your base coat. Our first few coats are gonna be very light. So we obviously need to prepare our gun for this. So let's say you just open up the box of the gun, you're getting it all set up, run mineral spirits through it. They do put wax and grease. Number one, run mineral spirits through your gun. Now you're set. This fan, this controls your fan pattern. If I tighten it all the way, it's like a circle. It's very, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. It's a very small dialed in spray pattern. If you open it up all the way, you're more or less just doing that. You're opening it, your fan pattern could be seven, eight inches, depending on how much fluid you have coming out. And this last little one, it's just regulating. It's like a quick turn off and on. Really, if you just need to quickly turn it off, I normally just keep it open all the way. So back to the gun setting, okay. This one's all the way open. We, I know that I don't need us all the way open, so we'll do about halfway. Count how many turns you have there, all right. So same with this one, let's close it all the way. I'll do, that's one full turn, two full turns. I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, that's, that felt good. All right, so let's show you guys what we're talking about. Oh, performance issues. Helps you be ready anytime the moment is right. All right, there we go, we're good. Ah, the universal connector though. Okay, cool. Okay, so here you're seeing that we're spraying. I'd say it's like a, it's a light, it's a very light dust coat. It's not one that we're, we're really caking on and we're looking for that full coverage after one coat. Painting is patience. So, so really just 
even coats. I can't, I don't know. I just, you see at the top, I actually went a little bit on the heavier side. I wanted it to, I wanted it to fish eye and it didn't really do any fish eye, so which is surprising. Um, that was a little too wet to my liking. Too many twos. Allow it about five minutes. By the time you get done with your first coat and around the car, that first section that you started at should already be dry and you can tell when it's dry. It's dry to the touch. Um, we're about six to eight inches away when spraying our panel. Um, and that's pretty consistent throughout the whole project. You don't want to be too close. You don't want to be too far. Too far creates texture and then too close. You end up just creating runs and stripes and stuff like that. So uh, a good six to eight inches away, two to three light coats, two to three medium coats, and two to three wet coats. That's pretty much a good rule of thumb. All right, so moving on, once this fully dries, uh, we'll move on to coat number two. It's a little bit of a slower pace, but it's still considered a light coat. So I'm not gonna go again for that full color coverage, just a nice even coat all the way through. You can do panel by panel if you want, or you can do the full car length. I like to do panel by panel on the primer, either black, light gray, dark gray, and then do full color coats. That's, that's full car length from the front of the car to the back of the car when it comes to your color coats. So pearl, solid colors, color shift, mega shift, you name it. So a couple more minutes and this will be dry. All right, so now that we sprayed our second coat, we're gonna go ahead and let this dry, and then now we're actually gonna start spraying the Mustang. So we got our three coats down, light, light, lightish, medium, whatever. Uh, levels really well, super smooth. I mean, the hood had some overspray to begin with, but it's not that bad. Uh, still soft. 
Um, so the next three, two to three coats are gonna be on more on the medium side, medium to wet. The last few ones, these will be more considered more of our color coats. I'll do more of like a wet pass on those, but uh, let's crank it up a little bit more on the fluid side. Uh, you will notice a little bit of a slower of a dry time only because, I mean, science, you know, you apply more of a wetter coat, it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry, but the self-leveling properties are pretty good. So uh, if you spray it right at the right PSI and you don't go too crazy with it, uh, it should self-level pretty well. So let's move on to more coats. So here we have the clear base coat. I mean, it doesn't look really clear, so to speak, but it's the clear base coat. And next is we're gonna add the Pluto Mega Shift. And I'm a huge fan, a huge advocate of the boosters. This will allow us to essentially fill in the color more and pull whatever booster color you choose in that direction. And we also have a black booster if you wanna kind of stay neutral. Let's say for an example, the customer's like, oh, hey, uh, I really like Pluto Mega Shift as it is. You could just spray this pearl directly over the black base. I'm sure it would be fine, but it is easier if you add a booster in with it. And if you don't wanna change the end color, order a black booster and just add half of one in per gallon and spray it over your base. So in this one, customer, I was just messing around one day with some of the colors and I mixed Pluto, or I mixed Pluto Mega Shift and a little bit of Violet Booster together. Uh, came up with a really beautiful color. The guy, really beautiful. Uh, customer reached out and was like, hey man, I, I gotta have that on my car. So, yeah.
birds are chirping. It's the next morning. This thing looks beautiful. The amount of looks that he is gonna get is I already know. I already know. Oh, it's these colors you don't see. Like this like little pocket right here. Let's see if I can get this light on. Will it show? This like little pocket of colors here. You got the, the violet color, right? Then you got, it changes from violet to a little bit of gray. It's rather quickly, but this line right here, a little bit of gray. And of course you see the purple. And there is a hint of blue on that tail end. Look at that at the blue at the end. I'm over here like trying to analyze the color. <laughs> oh, there's the blue again. Yeah. I can't wait till this thing is like smooth and re-cleared and showing in the sunlight all unmasked. All right, I'm eager to work. This is cool. This is cool. Hear me out. So you got two different purples here, right? You got your, your shaded purple that we're seeing. And then this is like a violet, like very violet lavender color and it starts to shift to like a silver and then green that's nuts like look right here that blend it's like a silverish and then there's but wait there's more uh it gets blue like then i start to see like a blue shift to it come on where you at where you at all right well, it's not showing up on camera but i know in direct sunlight oh a little bit a little bit come back there Y'all, this is, this is wild. This is wild. I love this color. Cause it's colors that are not normally together. I've never seen this before. I can't wait to sand it, clean it, re-clear it, unmask and see how it looks in the sunlight. I mean, I know that sounds like a lot, but just, I already know sanding down any trash that landed on it and then re-clearing it is going to make this project just that much more beautiful. I don't know. All right. In the midst of trying to, oh, I forgot that was there. In the midst of trying to get rid of, where's it at? This run right here, uh, I created these runs. Uh, I sprayed it way too wet here. It was like, it was what I call like coagulating. I don't know how to, you can see like the ripples here. It's like, I, I definitely didn't clean this enough after I was done sanding. So. Uh, it's black underneath. I could, in theory, just peel this all off. I might. Underneath, it looks fine, I think, right? Yeah, let's peel this, because this has gone too far to save, and it's going to take a lot. To, oh, it's going to take a lot to really, like, yeah. All right, let's peel it.
project complete. This is our first time spraying Pluto Mega Shift, and I didn't expect the colors that we saw in it. Like that gray or silver hue right between, right before it shifts between the violet magenta to that greenish blue color. That gray is not something you typically see in shifts. So this one I dig. A lot of people on our, our TikTok and our social media were saying Mystic Chrome and I don't know, I, I've seen a couple different variations of Mystic Chrome. I wouldn't call it that, the Ford famous color that they had in like the, I think it was like the 90s or something. It was like, I did a little bit of research on it. Only one person was allowed to fly out and, and spray it and they were only gonna do it a handful of times. I don't know, I don't know all the details, but yeah. So this color came close to it, but I don't wanna call it, you know, Mystic Chrome, because everyone more freaks out, but. Oh, this customer, this is pretty cool. This is like his fifth or sixth color, I think. Uh, a couple of them uh, he's done with us. He just loves the concept. He got into a wreck, so as I guys mentioned before, he got into a wreck, he was like, all right, well, I gotta, I just have to peel it. Why not just change the color anyways, instead of doing another, matching that one. So he picked a whole new color instead of the Nova Burst that we did a couple months ago. I'm sure he plans on keeping this one on for a little bit. Uh, he's happy, he likes it. And that's, that is truly what matters. Like that moment before someone sees the car, I'm like looking at them, hoping that they like it, waiting for a reaction. You know, it, it, there is like that little doubt. You're like, oh man, it would suck, you know, if they're just not happy with it. So, so far we've only had that once, crazy. Crazy story, don't even worry about it. Overall, this project was good. I mean, we did have a few setbacks, that freaking run, not even that run, the whole like side of it. I just went too crazy. I was like over spraying on that edge. So thankfully it was just peelable. And as you guys saw, we just peel it off and do a good polish on the factory finish that he had and call it a day. So we did spray over the spherical, the old spherical, the Nova Burst. We sanded it down, just made it smooth, denibbed, de whatever you want to call it just to kind of give it a flat surface. And then we applied another coat over that. I'm curious whenever the day comes, whenever it's time to peel it, like that is like thick, thick. That's like, that's like you, you wrap your car and then you wrap over the wrap, wrapception. I don't know. It's not something that I would suggest. It's not your standard of operation. However, you can do it. Uh, the photo shoot came out pretty good. We were with, what's it? Ink stash photography, ink stoosh stash. How am I gonna, uh, this guy. <laughs> yeah. Ink Souk Stash. Dude, you need an easier name. There, I said it. <laughs> of course, you know, we always have to do the, the photography session with our buddy Sean, who was actually able to get some pretty good photos. Of, and we always like to bust out the drone and get some different aerial shots. It's always nice to offer that to the customer as well. Not to go off on a rant, but if you're looking to offer this as a service to your customers as an install, Think about adding that as a package as well. Find a photographer local to you, give them 100, 200 bucks, whatever his or her price is, find someone or do it yourself. You're good at flying drones or videography, whatever you can within your reach, but it, it, it is worth it because then I see that those customers are then excited and they share that same content. So that's worth it is what I'm getting at. So wrapping up, I'm done rambling. I know this was our longer of videos. So let me know what your thoughts are. If you're interested more in the shorter content where it's just the work and it's less of behind the scenes or the longer side and we show more in depth of what's going on. Maybe even a little bit of both. I mean, who knows? It doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. But if you're interested, go ahead and follow us on all the social media platforms. We're always posting content of our next projects and a couple of the photos and videos that we collected of the projects that we did. We'll be sure to share more of the Pluto. We'll add everything in the description, all social medias. So go ahead and follow. Oh, and sharing is caring. I gotta say it. <laughs>